The bill is going along nicely and the bed is more or less complete. Now the kitchen is on the verge to take form. The sides for the whole kitchen was done with 12mm thick plywood and for the framing itself we cut down the regular planks down to 2 by 4 cm. This was to make it all light and maximize the space. But to make sense of this build to begin with, let's back up to the 25th of November 2023. Two days away from moving, I decided to take apart my old kitchen table. The thought to use it in the van, somehow, has been there for a while now. But the question is for what? This table might seem just like another table. But for me, this table has been with our family through nice times. Christmas, birthdays and much more. It has been staying at my grandmother's place for as long as I can remember. It has its fair shares of dents and scratches, yet it has remained true to time. That's why I took it when my grandmother passed away. So in memory of my grandma, let's make it to a bench top for the van. When I started this van build, I had an idea of what everything would cost in the end. But through all of this, I learned that whatever number that is, you most likely have to double it to get to the finish line. So except for the sentimental part of using my grandma's old kitchen table as a bench top for the van, reusing old things and to make them into a new purpose will save you a lot of money in the end. And to be honest, I was a bit worried that this would not work, because of the three pieces that needed to be glued together. But using the frame around the bench top, not just to make it the right depth, but also to strengthen the whole build, made the whole difference. As expected, there was a lot of sanding that has to be done to make the surface flat. When combining all materials with new, there's a very little chance that it will fit together like it was made for it. It would be a lot easier if you had a jig or something to make it all level. But if you like me, working in a small garage with a lot of stuff that from the beginning wasn't made for woodworking, you're gonna have to sand a lot. Okay, so here is the bench made from my grandma's old table. It was uh, three pieces and we cut it up and put it together just to be the right length. We did, however, had to put a frame around it because it wasn't deep enough. But I don't think that's matter too much. I don't know if I can match the colors. So I think this will be a little shade lighter because it's newer material than this. But hey, it's a bench. It's super cheap, 
it didn't cost me more than this would and the time i'm putting down to it it's a couple of hundred dollars if i would buy one of these in solid wood new if not more otherwise i get uh, this pressed spoon but this is solid this is super solid and i like it I think it's gonna be nice and it's flat and it's nice this is just me putting wood glue with the wooden spoon together just to fill in some gaps so tomorrow i will sand this down once more and then i'm gonna put in a finish on it and then i'm gonna seal it and then it's done So when using old furniture, especially when you're mixing in new wood like I have, sanding the old part is a must to make the staining get into the wood and to match them as close as you can in color. I did not think that the difference in color between the old table and the new wood in the frame would get as close as they did after staining the wood. But surprisingly, they did match up rather nicely. looks good it's uh, all done so I'm gonna have a piece of my grandma with me on my travels so it's gonna be real nice it looks a lot better than I expected from the beginning actually this is actually wooden plugs that I uh, glue and then cut off <laughs> they actually look like like this because we had to screw it down and then i removed the screws and put in uh, wooden plugs but it it doesn't matter it looks really good anyways so it looks like it's supposed to be there so yeah i'm really happy and the next step is to put it out into the van So big shout out to my dad and to my sister that have helped me tremendously through this build. If someone can do this in 30 days, they certainly have done it before and have the experience. For me, this is gonna take upwards six months or more in the end to get this to the finish line. So yeah, if you can get some help when you're doing a conversion like this, take it, it's worth it. Because uh, it can be a real pain and a headache to do all this by yourself. This is actually the cheapest sink I could find, but uh, I didn't think or feel I need something else. And uh, the same with this one, I probably gonna change this out. Uh, but for now, for drinking and just dishwashing, it's more than enough. So I'm probably gonna start out with it. And if I feel I have to, I'm gonna change it later on. And then we have the cooking area. I just have one because I don't feel I need anything more. And here's the control for it. So with that said, I thank you for watching. 
and I see you in the next one.